everybody. Hey, have you ever wondered how to repair a split seam on a seat? People just let it go and it'll get worse and worse. You should never kneel on a seat, but sometimes you get focused when you're working on the inside of the car and you kneel on the seat and the seams break. The thread rips. Or, it's just over time, the car's old, UV light has deteriorated the thread and it, the seam opens up. Well today I'm going to show you how to easily fix a seam that has split. It doesn't take many materials, really easy to do. Okay, what we have here is a seam in the bottom seat cushion that has ripped open. Um, the threads have ripped, the leather itself is intact and that will make the repair a lot easier. What we have to do though is we have to tease out some of the thread from the intact stitches. The whole point will be to allow us a tail to tie to once we get through sewing new thread. So I'm teasing out some of the intact stitches on both ends. You just take a blunt tool, something blunt to tease it out, tease out the upper and the lower, and um, I'm just trying to get tags here to tie to uh, at the end of the process. So I've teased out probably half an inch on each end making the gap a little bit bigger. And you also notice that the holes are intact. So the thread has just ripped leaving the holes intact. That's a good thing. Next thing you'll need is a curved needle. This one's a little big. A smaller one would have been better. And you'll also need some strong thread. Polyester is the best. Just for demonstration purposes, I've used tan thread here. If it's really tight, it doesn't matter what color thread it is, but it needs to be strong. Okay, so I'm going to start sewing. I'm going to go directly across from the tag that I had left. I'm just pulling out an extra, extra little piece of tag so I can start sewing on the left side of the seam. And sometimes it's helpful to open up the holes a little bit. It's also helpful to have a needle nose pliers or some sort of a clamp that you can use as a needle driver. You have to be careful not to stick yourself, which is entirely possible. Just push it through down to the next hole on the same side. You pull it through and you can see I'm working on the right side. I'm going directly across the hole directly across from where I came out. Pull it through, leave it, leave it loose. You leave the um, stitches loose. You will tighten them up later. Again, going in on the left side, a hole directly opposite. And push it through down to the next hole. And I sped this up a little bit because this can be tedious, especially if the the hole the seam has opened up a great deal. It, you know, you're going back and forth, back and forth, um, a half a centimeter at a time, and it could take a little time to do this if it's a big uh, opening in the seam, but it's well worth it once you get through. So as you can see, there's nothing technically challenging or difficult to this. You just have to you know, make sure you don't lock the stitches. Make sure you go directly across. I'm just opening up the hole a little bit there. Push it on through. Leaving the stitches loose. I sped this up just because it's a little tedious to watch in regular motion, but you're getting the idea. Back and forth. And you'll want to end up at the bottom of this demonstration. I want to end up directly across from the tag that I left that I pulled out. Now I've only got about an inch of a tag 
you can leave a couple inches, make it easier to tie the knots at the end. But I'll just use an instrument to help me tie the knots. So I'm almost to the end here. All the stitches are loose. I locked that one by mistake. You don't want to lock it. And I believe I'm at the end. Again, I locked it. Don't want to lock it. Okay, so I'm directly across from the tag on both ends. And now I'm just tightening up the stitches. As if you had a pair of sneakers that the laces were loose at the bottom and tight at the top, you just, you know, work it until all the laces are tight and, and here the same thing, until the stitches are tight. Now I'm just going to tie both ends. I'll use an instrument to tie. Double knot usually suffices. And go to the other end. I'm using a needle nose pliers here just to demonstrate snip off one of the tails. Now what we have to do is bury the loose ends here. So you just take your needle, feed it through into the seam and back out somewhere in the middle, snip it off. Same thing at the top, feed it in through the seam out somewhere in the middle and snip it off. And that's a nice flat seam. Look at that. Looks great. Good luck. Sob on. Magic Man.